good morning guys welcome back or to the channel in today's video we're going to be trying to fix the ac in the 60 again so yesterday i actually drove the truck and uh went and got diesel and the air worked um but we've already got it started here but what we're doing is we are replacing the condenser so went by first thing this morning had a buddy suck all the freon out of it and uh well <laughs> we got the grill off the truck and we got it the new one in now the other thing i'm not sure of is the line placement um i'm gonna look and see if i can see which one goes where because my grandpa don't remember and frankly neither do i <laughs> but anyway uh figured out something else i need to find i need to find these mounts because i don't have these um so i need to look for those at some point try to get some uh, but it is sitting in the bottom down there so really it sh shouldn't go anywhere uh, but i do need to find those but one thing that was kind of odd oh and by the way i want to mention this with the little blaster uh we are going to get to that I really want to get to that and get it done and whatnot. Um, we just got to find time to. But anyway, <clears throat> I just want to mention that. Uh, one thing that is kind of odd is the old one over here. Um, also, you don't really have to pull the grill. We just did to make it a little easier. But the old one here, as you can see, it's got some noticeable dark spots. But this is a... Uh, A lot heavier than the new one which is interesting so what we're gonna say is it was probably stopped up so when i got the truck um the errors never really worked in this thing but we replaced the ac compressor which is way down there under the world uh, we replaced it we replaced the evaporator here the switches we replaced lots of stuff um and it never it never really would work uh we did replace this because this fitting here uh had leaked and it was actually stripped out it looked like someone tried to put it in there and it cross-threaded and it wasn't a wasn't a good deal wasn't a good situation but when we replaced the orifice tube it was full of look like slime so what we figured that's probably stop leak uh, so that one is probably full of stop leak if we had to guess and I got to thinking one day if that might have been our issue because it was stopped up because with the truck it seemed like it would be fine for a little bit and then it would fade away and then it wouldn't work and then come back to it a few days later fire it up the AC would work for a little bit and then it will fade away so would kind of almost tell me that it was stopped up um but regardless we're gonna see so i got a new orifice tube and i'd actually bought all this stuff as a, like a kit with a compressor and everything so figured we'd go ahead and throw this on here and uh we'll see what it does throw a new orifice tube in it or clean the other one it wasn't real bad dirty um so we'll see but Either way, we're going to get this all buttoned up here. Um, I'm going to look, make sure about the lines. I need to clean all this stuff up too. But I'm going to look about the lines. And uh, if everything's good, we'll go ahead. We'll put the orifice tube back in it or the new one or whatever we're going to do there. We'll pull a vacuum on it and uh, get some Freon back in the system. All right, guys. So it's been a bit of a busy day. Uh, for me, and we'll talk about that more in the next video, uh, but went with a friend, and uh, she bought, like, her dream truck, which was pretty cool to be able to go do that with her, but while I was gone, my grandpa buttoned up the truck, so we, uh, I'll pop the hood and I'll show y'all, but we got the new condenser in yesterday, a uh, buddy of ours has a 05K 
King Ranch. We went and looked at it and got the line situation all figured out, which y'all can't see it. There's a cover on here now. Uh, yeah, you can kind of. So we got that all situated. That new condenser up in there. And uh, he pulled a vacuum on the system, let it sit. I think he said it let it sit for like two hours. And uh, it didn't drain down or anything. And I uh, went ahead and put some Freon in it. So we are uh, we're good to go. So I'm going to back this thing out of here. We're going to take it on another test drive. I already went in a test drive because Andrea wanted to ride in it and uh, whatnot. But we're going to go for another little drive and uh, experience air conditioning in the 60, which hasn't been much of a thing since we've had the truck. So kind of kind of excited about that for being completely honest uh, because we've done a ton of work I've spent a bunch of money and uh, this AC has never worked so I never worked correctly and well, I will say that's very nice it's nice and cold so uh, my grandpa did say I might have to drive it a little bit come back and uh, recharge the system or add some more to it whatever but I really think I really think that old one but I really think that old one was part of our problem um, because I would almost be willing to bet that it was plugged so with something um, I don't know what I almost kind of figure but I almost kind of figure it probably had some stop leak in it or something from the previous owner because um, it was super super heavy but we got the new one in it seems to be working fine no leaks that we know about so far so everything should be good but like he was saying might have to drive it a little bit let it kind of circulate around and we'll pull it back up in here we'll put the gauges back on it and test it and you know see if it's see if it needs any more or you know whatever else so anyway i'm gonna go for a drive here and uh we're gonna see how it does all right so it is actually the next day uh took the truck for a drive yesterday come back and uh i mentioned about my friend buying her dream truck uh well <laughs> i actually checked my phone before i went on the drive uh check engine light come on on the truck she took it to her dad's house and uh the truck was running late or running a rich so we actually uh she brought it back over here we scanned it here uh cleared the code like three different times and she kind of figured we was gonna have to put a fuel pump in it and uh we kind of went driving around like all night to uh, run the fuel out of it. But either way, uh, actually, she actually took it back to the dealership and uh, let them deal with it. That's been a whole ordeal. But uh, the AC on the 60 is doing much better. So one thing is uh, the, there we go. It's actually unlocked already. But in here, so y'all know, we have climate control. So it'll kind of fade out just a little bit uh, as you're driving. But I've noticed that uh, you can come in here, turn it off, hit auto again, and it'll come right back, uh, and it'll cool off. So what it's doing is the compressor isn't re-engaging like it should and uh, whatnot, but that's what's causing it to warm up. But like I said, you can turn it off, turn it right back on, uh, not touch anything else, turn it off, right back on, and it's cold. So, um, or it gets cold. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is, uh, I don't really wanna buy one of those because I would imagine they're not cheap. Uh, especially being as well that right there 
but uh, either way, I think uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it and uh, just kind of see because if you really think uh, that thing hasn't really been used very much at all uh, during the winter, I didn't drive this truck a ton. I did a little bit, but not a ton. And I mean, this is uh, June 28th, so. It's been a while since winter was here, is what I'm getting at. Um, and like I said, I haven't really drove the truck a ton. Um, so it might be a, you know, just a glitch type thing. But either way, I'm gonna drive it for a little bit. And like I said, if it starts getting warm, turn it off, turn it right back on, and you're good to go. So um, we're gonna do that, see what it does, and uh, we will go from there. But it is an improvement because before, when it would fade away, um, when we actually got it to start blowing cold to begin with, if it started fading away, what we would have to do is pull over somewhere, shut the truck off, open this door, which kinda uh, turns off everything in here, and uh, fire the truck up and drive again. And you'd only get about 10 minutes maybe uh, before it did the same thing and that's not realistic for driving so we just drove with the windows down um, and yes i know those need retinted they have faded uh terribly but either way either way yes i know i look like a mess uh, like i said we got back here at like 3 15 this morning and then i woke up at seven because i knew we were going to take her truck back um anyway that's that's neither here nor there but um like i said this is definitely an improvement so being that today is wednesday cars and coffee is saturday uh, i really wanted that to work um speaking of said friend she's actually going with me to cars and coffee i don't know if she's riding with me or if she's driving hopefully her truck by then um I don't know, but either way, I don't want to go to Cars and Coffee in this thing and it not have air. So, uh, the 300 has burnt me to air conditioning, but like I said, it'll just be nice to have. It's just supposed to be in the hundreds. Uh, today, got up to, uh, with the heat index like almost, I think it's like almost 120, like 115, 117. Um, but I mean, we're in Arkansas, welcome to Arkansas. So with that being said, I do still have a few things I wanna get done on this. Uh, the next video y'all have already seen, or y'all will see, um, but I've already done it. So that'll be coming up. And then in the morning, or maybe tonight when it cools off, I don't know, we will see. I wanna take this truck and wash it because you can see on the hood, she dirty. Uh, she's very dirty. Uh, the interior is dirty. It needs a good cleaning. So what I want to do is I want to take it up to the car wash, give it a good wash, and uh, might try to run polisher over it. I don't know. We'll see. But if nothing else, I would like to run another layer of the uh, ceramic spray over it and uh, shine it up real, real good before cars and coffee. Because I want this thing to look presentable, if y'all know what I mean. Um, and something else with the truck i want to polish wheels get those looking right um and last but not least i've got if y'all ever noticed i peeled my decals off the door uh so i got new ones that are purple which i think is going to look much much better than the blue and uh those are already made i just need to get transfer tape on them and then we're going to get those on as well so Anyway, a little busy week, uh, but it's worth it. Uh, it's been a pretty good week. So I've, uh, I've enjoyed doing truck stuff again and not just business stuff, um, which is kind of what I've been wanting to get back to anyway. But I know the business, business is gonna need work. So that's, uh, that's part of it. But either way guys, I think that is going to be a wrap for this one. So with that being said, if y'all enjoyed today's video or find it helpful, please drop a like and comment down below. 
smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope everybody has a great day.